If you're in sales for a year, is it possible that you go through more rejection in a year than most people go through their entire lives? And how does this help you? I'm Scott Silvan Bell. I'm coming to you live from Sacramento, California on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you. And before we continue, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You'll get some updates that I sent out some video. Now, when you think about it, you do the math and you go through how many appointments it's possible for someone to run in a year and how much rejection that they could face, it's staggering. So I'm going to give you some numbers and I'm going to give you some terminologies and my math may be a little bit different than yours. So you may have to follow along and fill in the blanks. So let's just say you have a sales guy, sales girl that runs four leads a day, takes four calls a day, takes four ups a day. Okay. Works five days a week. I don't know anybody who does only works five days a week in sales, but let's just say they work five days a week. That's 80 leads in a month. Okay. It's a good amount of calls to run. So there's going to be some wins. There's going to be some losses, but let's just say if we go down this path and that's the numbers that we use. After six months, someone's going to run close to 480 leads. In a year, it's going to be close to 960, okay? So let's just split the difference and put it in the middle and say 600 leads in a year somebody may have the potential of running. Think about all the times that someone's going to say, yes, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it, and the times that people are going to be like, no, not for me, and then they give an objection. And if they do give an objection, that is a form of rejection. It is a form of saying no, and the salesperson overcomes it. This math number is staggering. And so the reason why this is important for me, the reason why this is important for you is you have to get over this fear of being rejected. And one of the things that I'll work with salespeople on when I go live face-to-face -face training, I'm like, look, who hit a stoplight on the way here to the office? And people raise their hand. I'm like, look, you just got rejected. The stoplight said, no, stop. You're not going to go. And in the place where I live here in Sacramento, they got cameras on the corner. So like if you run that light, you're going to get double rejected. Okay. And if there is a police officer or a sheriff or some sort of uh, provincial officer around, there could be another ticket, right? So there's all sorts of rejection that we face in our lifetime. We just don't realize it. But see, one of the things that happens is when you're willing to face off re rejection, the opportunities for you start to multiply. The opportunities for you start saying, hey, I'm going to open up. So I'll give you some example in my life. I'm working a huge, amazing deal right now with an amazing individual. And it's going up like this. And there is a huge probability that it works. And there's a little teeny tiny thing back there that says that it may fail. But at least I took it. At least I took that opportunity. So people who are out in the marketplace that are willing to take the opportunity are the ones that close deals and make the money. Now, I've been on enough ride-alongs in my lifetime to know that most salespeople at the end of the call, they just they don't deal well with the pressures from the buyer saying, hey, your price is too high. They don't deal well with saying, hey, I got to think about it. They don't deal, deal, deal well with the buyer saying, I'll call you back. For them, that's like, gosh darn it, that's rejection. When it's not, it could just be nervous energy. And it could very well be that you get to the end of the call, you've done everything possible, you are a closer, you've done everything possible, you've asked for the sale, you've asked for the deal, and then now it's time to do some follow-up, and you do the follow-up, and you could get rejected too. But the thing is, is the more that you're willing to look through and say, hey, I'm okay with being rejected, the faster your learning curve is. And this is the, the point that I wanted to get to. Most people avoid rejection, so they never really hit the learning curve. The, the learning curve is stagnant, it's flat for them. There's not a, a bell curve, there's not a rise, there's nothing that goes along with it. So because they have stagnation, they peak. And they'll sell whatever standard in their industries. A lot of industries that I come from is 30%. They'll close 30%. That's standard, but they'll never be exceptional at 65, 70, 80, 90. They'll never hit that stride because they can't, they don't have it in them. They haven't developed sales basic mastery, they haven't gotten past the fear of rejection, they haven't learned how to deal with objections, and it causes a huge problem. My challenge for you, thanks for sticking around, bonus content. My challenge for you is to keep a journal of the true rejection that you face in your lifetime and celebrate it. And celebrate and know that like this week I got rejected eight times. Everybody else would give up. Everybody else would give up. I got rejected six times. Everybody else would give up. I, I went and I worked on this deal. Everybody else gave up. And you're going you're gonna to see, like when you look behind you, out of all the things where people gave up, that number is going to be huge. That number is going to be staggering. And you will face more rejection in your lifetime and make more money as a salesperson if you embrace it and say, what did I learn and how can I use that for the next sale? Most of the people are like, oh, I'm not going to ask for that sale. It's too difficult. And I'm telling you because I've sat co-pilot in so many sales calls where salespeople just don't even do sales basic mastery. You only have to be incrementally better. When you live face-to-face -face with rejection and say, I'm going to get you, you're going to close more deals and make it happen. I believe in you. Thanks for watching. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button, click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says, 
Scott Silva Bell from Scott Bell Consultants on another fantastic video, probably from a cool location. Today I'm in Sacramento, California. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha. Thank you.